welcome back to another Troglu's guitar video. Once again, this one's part of a series of my Spotlight Special Collection. Yeah, I didn't look at this one either, so we'll figure out which one it is. Ah, my first Spotlight Special. This is the one that started it all. Number 22, I believe. This one, it has a very unique top. Because the left side has that tiger flame. It's not going to show it right now, but this guitar takes pictures really well, although it can also appear as a plain top at times. This one has been used quite regularly. There's some buckle rash and whatnot. This is not the original case for the guitar, however, it is vintage or era correct. As I said, this was my first spotlight special. As with all my spotlights, I write this whole story down in here. I went to Boston for this one. Obviously, I have my little journal in there. And the journal is kind of too big to fit in there. That's why I have the bubble wrap there to protect the guitar. Enough about the case. As you see, this case does have the lid ribbon. That's why I love it. Because it doesn't fall over. There we go. Look at that top. It's got the nice wavy flame slash, you know, whatever it's called. I forget. Quilt. There we go. As we said, this one's number 22 out of supposedly 211. Originality, you know, this one's all original. However, as I said, I would probably give this one more of a 7.5 or 8 out of 10 condition wise. The fretboard's a little bit dirty. I mean, this was the one I played and played and played. This one is the most acoustically resonant of the five I currently have. It's just a really loud guitar, acoustically. Now, the pickups were out of this guitar at one time. However, they were put back in. And that's evidenced by looking in the control cavity. I'm going to call it 100% original. However, there's no way for you to actually view what this pickup is because when it was taken out, the lead was cut too short. So when you unscrew these screws, it doesn't actually come out so you can verify that it's a Shaw. However, I mean, the aging is very similar on both of them. It, they sound just like my other Spotlight Specials and there's no real reason to really question if that's a Shaw or not in my opinion. Yeah, just a gorgeous top on this one. Once again, it was my first one, number 22. The one that started my fascination and or addiction to the Spotlight Specials. You can see the... There are no line double ringed Clusens. These are very difficult to get a hold of if they have been replaced. And, you know, I don't know if this is a one piece or if this is just a, a mineral streak or something, but it runs up and down almost like it's a two piece neck, but then it kind of disappears here. So I'm thinking it's just one piece, you know, plus the wings, but that's a very cool illusion there because I know some spotlights did get made with a three piece neck. Now, this one might not be an ideal collector's grade. You know, as you can see, there's a pretty nasty gouge there. One there. And somebody just wasn't careful with this guitar. That's a, it's a shame that it has to be like that, but it adds character to it. 
I mean, this one has been through the hands of at least five people that I know of. I bought it from a man in Boston. He actually lives in Halifax, but close enough to Boston. His name is Sylvan Wells. Very nice guy. A lot of nicks and dings on this one in the back. However, you know, these these are mainly, you know, display guitars to most collectors. So, I mean, the top's fairly clean. I mean, you got a little bit of a ding right there, but... It is what it is. I mean, the lacquer's yellowed a little bit. I mean, you can see that in the binding. Oh, yeah, that's the other thing. The binding has lots of those little cracks on it. And similar to, like, those the fret nib binding cracks. I think it's like right there. I mean, it's not falling apart or anything. It's just the expanding and contrasting. I mean, I live in Ohio right now. Not the best conditions for these guitars, but it is what it is. And there it is, the first Spotlight Special I ever bought. Yes, I way overpaid for this one, but eh, it started the fascination with these. Thank you for watching.